Are you ready to master CapCut in minutes? Whether you're a beginner or an expert, we've got you covered. This is part of our library of quick CapCut tutorials for easy editing solutions. And now I'm going to show you how to add keyframes within CapCut. Now I have a man running across the sand dunes and I want an arrow to follow him. So I'll go up to the top here and select stickers and I'll search out for a red arrow. I'll add this one here to the timeline and I'll move it slightly off screen. And once I play the clip and have the man running across the screen, I'll adjust the arrow and then I'll come and press the keyframe. Then I'll move the arrow right up to the man in his running position. So now if you see when I play the clip, the arrow jumps directly to that position of the keyframe. So what you want to do is move the arrow back into position and add a keyframe first. Then let the man run, adjust the arrow, add a second keyframe, and now move the arrow to the man in his running position. Now when we play it, you can see the arrow follows him. You can keep adjusting the arrow on the screen. So now I want to make it big as well as following. So I'll adjust it within the app player to make it bigger. This will automatically add a keyframe. You don't need to keep pressing the keyframe after you've done it the first time. So if we look, when we play that, the arrow gets big as the man jumps. And as he lands, I want it to go small. So as he lands, I'll add another keyframe and make it smaller. You can also do this with text. So I'll add some text. And as the man comes off the screen, I'll add jumping. You can make any adjustments to the text. Within text, you want to go to text and then come down to position and size and select the keyframe button. Again, you want that original one off screen. And then the second one, you want it to come into the middle like this or wherever you want on your clip. So when we play it, as you can see, as he's jumping, it comes into screen, the word jumping. So that's how to add keyframes in CapCut. You've experienced a quick CapCut tutorial, but the journey doesn't end there. Dive deeper into the world of CapCut with our dedicated playlist of tutorials designed to make your editing experience smoother and more efficient. Learn everything from basic edits to advanced techniques that will take your videos to the next level. So what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description below or on screen now to start watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more helpful content.